Yeah, when they... So, okay, tape is rolling. Where's the speed? And we have speed. Well, Dick, I always look forward to talking with you because, uh, first of all, then that means I get to see a Dick Donner picture, and uh, so far you haven't disappointed me. They've been very different. Last time we talked was Lady Hawk, remember? Uh, yeah. God love Lady Hawk. Yes, I, yeah. I liked that picture very much. I wish more people went to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I think lots of people are going to see this one because it's in a very popular genre of action and adventure and... Uh, Sense of humor, too, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I think uh, it's the difference, actually. You know, it, it's just action is action. And I, when I read it, it was an action. I'd never done an action. But, but Lethal Weapon, the only thing different for me was it had this, uh, that wonderful relationship between Mel and Danny. And here is Mel Gibson, a registered Lethal Weapon. Uh, a little on the crazy side. And I'm wondering, Dick, in, in the script, if it was written into the script how far he should go, or whether uh, this going over the edge business was something that you and he had to work on together. Uh, yeah, sure, we had to work on it together, but it was there. It was primarily there. It was a character who was on the edge, and, and due to his relationship with Danny, it, it, or to this new relationship with a new partner, it all starts to come back. The thing that wasn't there, that I, I really attribute to Mel and Danny, and then that is their ability to uh, relate on a level uh, with a sense of humor. They we developed that sense of humor, and uh, a lot of it was improvisational. The entire scene in the car when they're driving away, which I desperately love, when they after Dan Mel has jumped off the the building with the guy and he's attempted suicide, we thought, and uh, and 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 Danny finds out from the psychiatrist that he's in trouble, and they start that scene in the car. And we, we, we drove pulling that car, and I was on the outside of the van listening, and these two guys, it just all started to flow. That's when it really happened between the relationship with the two. We were in hysterics on the car. And uh, that, that, that's, that, to me, is the only difference this picture makes from a lot of pictures. The action's great. I mean, I, I never f played with action before. I love it. I surrounded myself with the best people in the world to teach me. But what I couldn't learn and why it was to develop the, this wondrous relationship between Danny and Mel. It's the funniest I've ever seen Mel. And Danny, I mean, he's just a natural. So the two of them together, they, and on and offset. I mean, you could never stop them. There was cut, and they just kept going for days. They were. Yeah. I wonder, did. Hold on one second. Yeah. You got it. Uh -huh. right. Tape is rolling. <clears throat> and we have speed. Dick, since this was your first real big action picture, and what with the Twilight Zone case and everything, did it make you more nervous going into this kind of picture and a little more fearful? Well, no, not really. I, I, I'm a firm believer that, um, as a matter of fact, I'm not liked by stunt people. And we had, a, we had a tragedy just after this picture was made. A wonderful man named Dar Robinson, one of the great stuntmen, was killed. On another picture? On a following picture. And what was it called? I don't know. I've really yeah. tried to block it out of my mind. He's, he's been a friend for a lot of years. And, uh, in fact, the picture is dedicated to him, as you probably saw in the titles. Your picture, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, but I'm a firm believer that um, um, th 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 there's not a limb worth a stunt, much less a life. And um, if I see a stuntman's pushing too hard, I'll pull back. I'll say I don't want that, even if they want to do it. I, it. A lens is magical. We're illusionists. That's our job. We create all kinds of illusions, from humor to love to action to anything you want to men flying, if you will. And if you can't do it with a lens, then don't do it. And that's been my policy. And I've been lucky. Um, um, we've, I've never had a, a, a major incident. Sure, people have been hurt, but uh, um, you expect that on a minimal basis. But uh, things can happen. They can get out of hand. You can lose control. Um, I just, I, I'd just be damned if it's going to happen on one of my pictures. If it does, I'll feel damned. The one scene that is so spectacular, and we don't want to give too much away, but it's a tandem jump, well, and that was Dar and another. That was Dar and a, and a wonderful man, uh, Mel's double name, Mick Rogers, who uh, is also a great stuntman, who studied with Dar for many, many years. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a jump and a half. I couldn't watch that. I never saw them land, and I never saw them go off from the main jump. I can't watch those things. That's why I turn it over to the stunt people, and uh, when it's all over, I said, "How was it?" <laughs> you know, I. I can't watch. I, my stomach goes into a total knot. Did they do it more than once? No, ma'am. I, if they didn't, if they, if, if if the camera, I had four or five cameras on it. If it came down to only one was a print, that's the one we would have used. But I would never. I, I would fight them before I let them do it again. Yeah. 
Um, I, I have a theory, Dick, and I would appreciate your opinion on it. I respect your opinion. I have a theory about actors, and that so do I. And that <laughs> is that um, all the good actors I know, and all the really effective actors I know, have something wonderful going on in their eyes. That's it's you know that's, a lot of times you work with an actor and you say he's dead, and nobody knows that he's dead behind the eyes. And there's those that are just so full of life behind the eyes. Now you you when you hit something right on the button because if you ever studied those two guys, especially Mel Gibson. I mean, what goes on behind those eyes is magical. Watch him, man. He's dangerous. He's a pixie. He's the most wonderful, vibrant human being I've ever met. Strange man with an incredible com command of the English language, which you'd never realize. And Mel is a very, he's, he's a quiet, unassuming guy who's really coming into his own. But you get into those eyes, I mean, forget it. They're pools. They're such depth in there. It's phenomenal. And that's where I really found Mel's sense of humor. I mean, because we all, how many people we don't, how many times you talk about not looking into somebody's eyes or they don't return your look or something. And you know it's, Mel, you look into his eyes, you know something's coming. You've got to prepare yourself. He's always got, he's a practical joker. He's got a tremendous sense of humor. And his eyes tell you when to prepare yourself for the shock that's about to happen to you. Yeah, that's a good observation because eyes are a dead giveaway for actors. And when there's nothing behind them, they could work all their life and study all their life, but nothing will ever come on the screen. This picture would seem to me to be just a perfect setup for a sequel. Would you do a sequel? I don't know. It is a perfect setup for a sequel. And if, if we, we've had some incredible audience reactions to the film. And if it, if it, if it, if it, if it we're already in, 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 the, in the throes of, of preparing a, a, the start of a screenplay for a sequel two, whether I'll just produce it, I don't know. Or whether I'll produce it and or direct it, I don't know. It's, I never wanted to do a sequel. Uh, myself, uh, but I, I, um, I had such a wonderful time with these two crazies and the surrounding cast. The little I call her Rianne, little Tracy Wolf, who first time out, and and uh, well, the whole the whole cast was one. I I really cast this picture like of, out of a lot of friendship. Um, would I do it again? There's a good chance this time I'd break my rule because I, I it would be just another 12 weeks of fun. Okay. You know? I, I bet we'll be talking again maybe in a year or two. <laughs> <laughs> Dick, as always, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much. Good luck much. with the picture. Go see it.